hell was that trip? Sure as hell not mine. the shuttle shuttle driver had to take a pit stop in the woods because there's nowhere else within hours of here so we're leaving the vehicle down here and I know it's foggy and you can't see but there's a large mountain right there and we're coming down it
We don't have a choice now, do we, boys? <laughs> All right. Here we go. We need Ed from Matt's Off-Road Recovery for a weather update. It was supposed to be light rain in the morning with clearing skies throughout the day. It was not. Before anyone starts complaining about us tearing up trails by riding on them when it is too wet, please realize that this is a wildlife management area. This is not a mountain bike trail. These are roads that are open to four-wheelers, jeeps, four-wheel drive trucks. Um, we were just simply passing through on bicycles. I can assure you that our ride did no damage compared to these four-wheelers, side-by-sides, Jeeps, trucks, things such as that that frequent the area. <laughs> That was real close. <laughs> like I felt the wind off of it.
Yes, I got that on video with both cameras. Brad, are you okay? <laughs> before I laugh. Before I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm standing on the side of Booger Hill. Oh my gosh, it is uh, steep, slick. I'm videoing them coming down. And I'm having to hold the brake on my bike. Save. I just missed it. <laughs> Josh, that was that was a good save. I thought she was going over. Well, I thought she was going over big.
nothing. It is the song of my people. I think the rain might have set in. Maybe. I have water running down into my shoes. Running down the back of my leg. And running out the toes of my shoes. Josh's bike does not enjoy the mud. Mine's not either. But wow. We gotta put these things in the back of my truck. Back of my Tahoe, not a pickup truck. Hot dog, boys. That was nasty. That was bad. We made it. We freaking made it. All right, dang it, I just cleaned you. How'd you get so dirty? Lord, 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 Lord. I don't have any idea what I look like. Better than my bike. No, they don't even have running water in the church house. They don't even have bathrooms. We was discussing whether or not you might already had a water bottle glass. Well, that one creek back there right off the mountain would have been a yeah, pretty it, good spot too. It would have, but... No, I haven't changed or anything because I want to get my bike cleaned up first. Cool. Coming out of that cave, right? Well, my wife was like, if you're going to spend money on a bike, you better go use it. <laughs> you used her today, boy. I mean, you, might, you might get to spend more money. <laughs> I, I, I didn't use her. I abused her today. Boys, that was rough. There, everything on that bike, I think, is going to have to be taken apart and clean. Maybe me taking a part. Well, it is 12:30. We left the house at 6:02, and um, we're we're still a good ways from home. But we're back to the truck, and we are uh, going to find some food. We had a good ride. Ended up being right at 12 miles. I think it was like 11.89 or something like that when I got to the truck. Um, so, and it was a great ride, good good weather, just a little drier, good temperature. Temperature was awesome. Temperature was awesome. We, we needed a little drier, um, but you know, hey, it is what it is. But we are, uh, oh wow, this road is rough. Anything to add, Joshua? We're all dry now. We're dry. We did change clothes. Clean, somewhat clean. Uh, now, I'm not going to say clean. I'm going to say dry. Well, we're cleaner than we were. We, yes. As are the bikes. The bikes are a touch cleaner. Yeah. Well, I, this trip, I have grit in my teeth. Yeah. How the crap does that happen? This, this trip probably wasn't the best trip for the maiden voyage of my new bike. Because there were some bugs that 
needed to be worked out that was almost impossible to work out. Well, you broke her in. Yeah. I hope I didn't break something on it. Yeah, it was, it was that kind of ride. What about you, Larry? Anything to add? I'd like to do it again when it's dry. Yes. Definitely when it's dry. Yeah, they probably ain't got nothing that Josh can eat. Nah, it's probably all beef dogs. Sorry guys. Somebody oh. TV me. Bastard. Whose idea was that trip? Sure as hell wasn't mine. Uh, Whose who idea was it? JR's or yours? <sighs> It's yours. Probably it's mine. Yours well, I think I brought it up. Well, Brad had said something about it too, because Crow had went and he'd seen Crow do it. I thought. Yeah. Maybe and Brad got the call. You, you probably mentioned it, and Brad's like, Yeah. Yeah. And I can't believe I got dirt in my teeth. Oh, I do too. I mean, how does that happen? Really? How does that happen? When you're, it's when you're going, <laughs> and your front tire slings some a chunk up in your mouth, and you don't realize it. My problem is my water bottles so getting covered with dirt. Covered in dirt. Yeah. Well, I, I have decided that the <laughs> that's the song of my people. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, consider subscribing so you can join us on the rest of our crazy adventures. Remember to get out and find your own adventure, because even bad adventures make great stories. Thanks for tagging along with us today, guys.